I've debated it over a while over deciding what I really wanted to do, because I'm not gonna lie, I think I've shown something off, so I think I'll do that first, because, uh, why not? Like I said, remember how I said you can go to this old man and, uh, you could get him to teach you how to, uh, catch Pokemon? You can get him to teach you as many times as you want. Well, let's just go through the whole process again, why not? You guys might be able to see what this is leading up to. Anyway, welcome back everybody to more Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. This is your host, the MJ4106. And well, we're watching the old man catch a Weedle again, because I'm jealous I can't catch one! Must be nice for you to get it, old man. I'm so happy for you. We can the target Pokemon. Now! Let's fly! I'm going to Cinnabar Island now! Go! Go, Pidgeot! Take me there! So, people might be able to know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna, you know, surf around here for a while. Let's just see what happens. I hope I did it right. Anyway, ah, this surface looks beautiful, does it not? I mean, really. It's pleasant to go around. Maybe it's just me. But I like how it feels. Oh, cool, I encountered a Pokemon at the corner of this thing. Oh, WAH! WHAT THE FUCK ARE YOU?! Wild Missing No appeared! What the- Ah! Level 129! So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um... So, people know what the hell this is, I'm guessing? Maybe? <laughs> you have water gun! Screw you! So, meet Missing No! Probably the most famous glitch in Pokemon Red and Blue. What the heck was that? Wait. What are you doing? Why are you glowing? Sky attack! Ow! A charge of flying attack, you dick! You killed my- <laughs> What's going on? No! This is horrifying! Make it stop! Vaporeon, help! So this Pokemon's an oddball. Um... Yeah. All of a sudden, I have more rare candies. Oh, God. Uh, can I catch you? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you don't want to be caught easily, do you? So, yeah, anyway. Meat? Um, yeah. Missing no. Like I said, the most famous glitch from the first generation Pokemon games. And I caught it. <laughs> oh, God, I'm ridiculous. Please don't let me give it a nickname. You actually can't find us in the Pokedex. It's entry number zero. So! That's a weird... Why were you up there? What the hell, old man? So, yeah. You wonder what the hell just happened? I call Pokemon number zero. Missing number. It's a glitch having to do with that man who teaches you how to catch a Pokemon. You basically go to him... Go to the old man and let him teach you how to catch, and then immediately go over here and go over the left side of Cinnabar Island. Depending on the name you have entered, you encounter a lot of weird things, like what looked like a Pokemon at level 129. Also, a big reason I did that, notice whatever the hell happened there. The sixth item in your inventory, you wondering why I put that there? Well, because of that, now, I was able to duplicate my rare candies to such an absurd amount that, well, now I have basically, I have basically 99 of them, I believe. Let me just do something, just for the heck of it first. Alright, well, actually, let me change box first. If I have to start this episode over, I can always show that again, I guess. Let me just go to box two for now. So let me see here. Okay. It's time for me to evolve some Pokemon, I think. What do you guys think about that, huh? I think it's only fair we do that. And, uh, yeah. Weird episode, huh? But yeah, basically, you go- you glitch that so you can basically talk to him and then go here immediately to fight a random assortment of Pokemon. Storage values get all messed up, basically, and, uh, well... You can fight a whole lot of things you shouldn't be fighting! Really, a whole lot of things you should not be fighting. <laughs> It's crazy. I'll take you out, because I can evolve you pretty quickly. 
Um, not crinkles. You're all in there. Yeah, I'll just figure this out later. I already went to that box! If basically do that, you can also fight Pokemon Random Area. So, if you ever wanted to fight those Pokemon you can see only in the Safari Zone, this is actually a way to do that. It's pretty neat. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff you can do with this. It's pretty fascinating, actually. Needs to ask me. Okay, who's a high-level Pokemon that needs to- that can evolve quickly? You know what? Let me test it on you. You know, I won't go too crazy with this. Let me find another one that can evolve probably somewhat quickly. Ghastly. I'll just test out you one, with just these ones. So now I have all these rare candies, I can basically choose to evolve all these- actually, hang on a sec. Maybe change the box back to, uh, box two. So that way if I really screw something up, I don't have to do this again. God damn it. Alright, back to box two. Okay, now let's do this. So! Let me go to my Pokemon here. Well, actually, let me go to my item list. Notice how Rare Candy looks like it has a weird freaking number on it. Go to the sixth item inventory. Well, Rare Candy has the power to level up your Pokemon. As many times as you want to use it. So, I'm just going to use it for a while. I can basically... Encountering... The missing no Pokemon at all takes a six out of your inventory, basically maxes out how much you can carry of it. It's a little ridiculous, but that's what makes it great. And also, oh my god, Gasly's still paralyzed. I forgot about that. I guess I should heal you guys before putting you back in there, huh? I just hope I'm not actually wasting all these. I don't think I am. A lot of people know about this glitch. Funny thing is, I accidentally came across this glitch as a kid. Just for no reason. Along with other things, like fighting other Pokemon that are over level 100. It's freaking weird. I remember seeing a like, Fable there, like level 120. I was like, what the hell's going on? It makes no goddamn sense. But still, it's pretty funny. So there we go, now we have a Haunter. See, look, we get weird symbols for the rest of this. Those symbols indicate the other digits, I guess. So yeah, we're just gonna grind Magic Magikarp for a while. So yeah! If you decide to encounter missing no, you can basically increase the items you have. You can basically give yourself an unlimited amount of a certain TM. See, there we go! Magic Carp actually learned the move Tackle. and <laughs> actually something useful now. You can give yourself unlimited rare candies. Unlimited Master Balls, so you can catch anything you want whenever you want, if you want to do that. But I don't want to be cheap like that. So I decided to do something that just helps increase the level of everything. You guys can say it was like a bonus episode, I guess, but eh, I don't care that much. Just keep in mind, remember, you won't get effort value points for leveling up Pokemon via Rare Candy. Just keep going on actually training them properly until they can't increase their EVs anymore. Then you can do Rare Candies all you want. There you go, you learned Bite. Good, we've only had a water move. And now it's a black square there. See, isn't this so useful? Basically, I'm deciding to use this instead of, uh... To get rid of a grinding session, I'm basically going to give all my starter, all the Pokemon on my team rare candies to a amount I think is fine. But I'll do that only if I lose a battle at some point, I guess. See, look at this. See, now I can easily evolve Pokemon that need levels to evolve. Isn't that neat? I think so. It's so easy now. It really is. Now, let's throw Pokemon away in this thing. Go ahead, Dodrio. You go in there. Gyarados, you go in there. Oh, no, 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 don't release anybody for the love of God. Haunter, go in there. Now, let's take Pokemon back out. Why not? I may as well. Uh, oh wait, I need my Pokemon back. What the fuck, what am I talking about? Take them all back, please. Jeez. I'm acting like I don't need these guys or something. I need all of them. Like I said, though. I'm only doing this for a grinding trick if I lose battles later on. So, I'll try to do what I can without needing to level up. I won't go super absurd with it. It's only a backup measure just in case. I figured it's probably the best course of action right now. And there we go. Oh my god, Pete. Raichu's still dead from that battle because that sky tag is incredible. By the way, apparently that, um, uh, 
Missing now is a uh, water flying type or something like that. I think. So it knows water gun and sky attack, apparently. Which sky attack is the best flying move? Similar to that move, Solar Beam, which I didn't put on. Yeah. It actually, you know. Yeah. I don't think I need to explain it anymore. Takes a turn to charge, and then it does a super devastating attack afterwards. Alright, Raichu. Go back up to the front. Whew! Well, that wasn't that exciting. <laughs> I think so. Well, I don't think I'll have a problem with it. I think this episode will be fine. Oh, yeah, I never checked this. Oh, there's more here. Holy crap, there's areas I didn't check out yet. What kind of monster am I? Not checking out everything this whole place has to offer. Vaporeon! Sir, for me, would ya? There we go. Hello, sir. Oh, I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this dream about drowsy eating my dream. What's this? Where does this TM come from? This is spooky. Uh, here, you can have this TM. Oh, there we go. The TM42 for Dream Eater. I told you about that. Cage Dream Eater. Oh, God. Like I said, it works like Absorb and Mega Drain. Except it's Psychic type. And it only works when the opposing Pokemon you use it on is sleeping. So it, it, it has its uses if you have, like, Hypnosis or Sleep Powder or something. You just gotta make sure you can use this, which... I'll play on Pokemon Pokemon to sleep, so... Sorry, don't need that. Oh, yeah, you can also use that method to basically grind yourself money as well. Get an item you can sell a lot for, like Nuggets! You can also get yourself max out on Nuggets and just sell all of them. So that way, <laughs> yeah, you have too many. It's pretty nice. I do not want to do this if I don't have to, though, so... I'm really not going to try to push it. So I won't. Huh. What the heck's this for? What's the point of this? Unless... Is there, is there a hidden item here or something? What the hell's the point of this? All it does is just take you over here. I don't get it. God, that's stupid. Well, anyway, now we got that sideshow out of the way. Sorry about that. I know I promised we'd go to the Pokemon League. I'm not lying. We're gonna go there. What the? You here again? <laughs> what? Dumbass? What a surprise to see you here. So you go to Pokemon League? You collect all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, dumbass, as a warm-up for Pokemon League. Come on! No, of course you're in my way again. He does have all his badges. So here we go! Another battle with Dumbrass. And well, he also has his team, which also beat all the gym leaders. So, you got your work cut out for you in this fight. Make sure you have your ultimate team assembled for this battle, because, oh, it's going to be tough. So yeah, by the way, that other rival battle I had with him when he only had his uh, Charmander and Pidgey, that's optional. You can skip that battle entirely if you choose not to go to it before the one after that in Cerulean City. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Uh, of course he has a Rhyhorn on his team. Why wouldn't he? Oh my god, all the numbers. It's so hard for me to tell what's what. Oh my god, so many 44s. Uh, go ahead, Vaporeon. May as well ride the hot hand. You finally got your rock ground type. By the way, I'm still wondering, what happened to your Eradicate? I don't remember where he went. I just know ever since we met you at Lavender at uh, the Pokemon Tower back in Lavender Town, I haven't seen that guy. I hope he's okay. Eh. It's not like he died or anything. <laughs> that would be absurd. Now, what am I talking about? I need to kill this thing. So, yeah, he has. He has basically his ultimate team assembled. Why haven't you evolved him yet? Evolve your execute, you dick! That thing's whippy without its evolution in place. Jesus. Whatever. Don't let it be my business. Alright, Gyarados. Gyarados is a good choice, though, because now frickin' Ivysaur can't really fight against it. I mean, I guess it could, but... Raichu is obviously better to fight this thing with. Why wouldn't I use Raichu? Yeah, it's a one-hit kill, bitch. Your Gyarados is useless, as long as it's the last in your lineup. Hmm. And there's the trouble spot for me. I guess I want to use a fast Pokemon for you. Because otherwise, you're going to be a nuisance. Level 50? God damn! You really are trying to take me out! No, no! 
Nine Tails, your special's high. Don't worry about it, you'll be okay. Yes, barely. Oh, your special went down. Oh, no. Shit. Well, that sucks. Oh, now I can go faster than you. That doesn't make sense. Right, physical moves do a lot of damage. You gotta remember that. No! Nine Tails! You son of a bitch! You killed it! You killed it! Mm, Pidgeot! Show him what for. Show him that you mean business. Quick attack him to death. I should have used Pidgeot from the get go. I don't know why I decided to go Nine Tails. Matching up a special type against that is a bad idea. Well, Vaporeon, this is why I have you on the team. Go get him! That Charizard's level 53! Jesus Christ! You see why I decided to get rare candies? This could get a little overwhelming. It's got a lot of powerful shit! Levels above me! I mean, my EV should help me triumph in the end, but still. Some of this could get really rough. Like, my god! I didn't even kill it! Jesus! Well, this could be bad. At least you're only using Rage. Ow. Can you get out of my way already? Jesus. Dumbrass, why do you have to do this to me all the time? God, that was powerful. <laughs> what? I was just careless. Yeah, 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 that's what you always say, you dick. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Dumbass, you need more practice. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here, smell ya. I beat you! What do you mean I need more practice? I beat you, you fuck... <sighs> Dumb little piece. Seriously. Where'd he go with this high and mighty attitude? I beat him every time. Even the first times I didn't think I'd beat him. I beat him. <laughs> oh, it's by the way, you do have to beat your rival every single time to keep going. Except for the first battle. First battle, you're allowed to lose. You just don't get that initial experience boost from winning that first battle, that's all. Yeah, screw that experience all item. Actually, I probably could bring that with me. Just to show off what it does. Why not? So sorry for this sidetrack episode, but, well, I felt like I had to get that out of the way. I had to get it out of my system. But yeah, so remember that missing number glitch? Which, by the way, don't use it too frequently or it could mess your game up real bad. So that's a, that's a thing of warning. Be careful with that glitch, because it could mess up your game big time. I mean, mostly for good, but there's some stuff that could screw you up. It No, I don't want that. Okay, what did I come in here for? I have seven rare candies stored up in there. You know what? I may as well use those. I don't even know why I have them in there. Escape ropes. Don't need those. So I'll sell them off. I'm just basically trying to figure out what I need and don't need in here. That's basically what I'm trying to figure out right now. TMs, I'll worry about you later. I can use you up. Because I'm sure I have a move that's worth using you for. Uh, let's see. Anything else worth taking out? I have two irons in here. Don't know why I didn't take those out yet, but I'll take them out now. Uh, there's something else I had in here. Where's the thing I'm looking for? Man, you can carry a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna make it so I never have to use this. Experience all. Hmm. Wait, it's a one-use item? How does this work? Uh... Dumbass! This isn't the time to use that! What the hell? Oh, that was the professor! That's right, you can try using an item somewhere! Dumbass! This isn't the time to use that! Hmm, so you can only use it in one battle, huh? You know what, in that case, I'm gonna store it, because I don't know what the hell to expect out of this thing. That's... weird. Hmm... That's probably a good item to glitch out to to really test out. Okay, well, we gotta prepare before we go to the Pokemon League anyway. Like I said, I'm not gonna rare candy up. That's the backup plan. That's the backup plan in case I suck. Or if I feel like I have to grind, I'll just push that in instead. So that way it'll make things easier, you know? Now anyway, let me start getting rid of crap I don't need. Which basically, well, escape ropes. Don't need those. Anything else I have I don't need? No. 
Alright, let's buff up the stats a little bit, and then I guess we'll be on the road. We'll at least try to get to the, uh, playthrough Pokemon League by the end of this episode. I don't want it to be a complete waste. Just, yeah. Alright, HP up. Let's see, who needs it right now? Obviously not Vaporeon. I'll give another one to Marowak. I'll give one to Ninetales. Why not? And I'll give one to, uh... Hmm... Raichu. You can use it too. Now, who needs defense? Oh, who needs PP up? Um... Raichu's moves are good. Vaporeon! Increase your Surf PP. Because that'll be helpful for you. Why does I only have six rare candies now? Did I screw it up? Maybe I did. I don't know. Well, Iron, I have defense here, so... Let me put that on. Um... Let me think of who needs defense. Vaporeon and Raichu are the main two that need that. So, yeah, so you guys still have stats to grow into. That's why I can't really be pushing that freaking rare candy on you yet. Alright, well, whatever. Let's make our way over. Why not? Come! Let us go! To the Pokemon League! Away! That surfing spot has no purpose. Also, the Pokemon here stink! They stink! They're still level 4! It's so funny they have these Pokemon here at where you go to basically end the game. It's ridiculous. Which, by the way, we are near the end of the game, finally! I can't believe it's been so long! The front gate of the Pokemon League. Now we have all our badges, we can actually get through here. Well, let's make our move. Hello? Ooh! That was a boulder badge! Go right ahead! Set badge one! So we can get through here. You pass here only if you have the Cascade badge. Oh, that is the Cascade badge! Okay, then please go right ahead. And here's the epic music for Victory Road. That's right! We got quite the long, difficult road ahead of us. So it's time to march forward, everybody! Look how grand it is. Like, jeez. It really set you up. You can pass your only if you have the Thunder Badge. Oh, that was the Thunder Badge! Okay, then please go right ahead. So, the, yeah. Basically, you have your badges. Haha! <laughs> there goes your epic music! Basically, you have your badges, you can cut through this place. Which, well, thankfully, I have them. I'm kidding. I want the epic music to stay, so I'm gonna get off that for now. You can pa only pass here if you have the rainbow badge. There it is! Okay, go right ahead. You also need to have your HMs on you, so make sure you have those too, or else you can't pass everything. Man, they set up this obstacle course for everything! My god! Oh, there are trainers along here too. So, you know... Your Pokemon better be ready. Oh. Pass your only if you have the soul badge! As a soul badge! I thought you were a trainer. Okay then, please go right ahead! Thank you. Why is a random lady there? A break? For no reason? <laughs> Don't know why they have that there, but okay. There's not really a lot of hidden stuff to get here, but... Make sure you at least have Surf. I think you're gonna need Flash as well. Let's keep moving. You pass your only if you have the Marsh badge! That's the Marsh badge! Okay then, please go right ahead! Thank you, my lady. I guess you're a lady. I'll just say you are, just for the hell of it. You're probably a dude, but I don't really care. I don't care enough. Oh yeah, you can encounter wild Pokemon here too. And I can tell you this much. Strongest wild Pokemon you've probably seen so far. So... If you really want to try to encounter them, feel free. There are some goodies here. That's the only view of the Volcano Badge. Oh, that is the Volcano Badge! Holy crap! Go right ahead then. So you can come here as soon as you got the sixth badge. Hmm. Why am I not finding anything? Okay, here we go. Let's see if I find an interesting Pokemon in here. Oh, it's just a goddamn Fearow. Like I said, though, strongest wild Pokemon you've seen so far. I'll tell you this, you'll see... I think you will find some incredible Pokemon in the grass around here. So prepare yourself. Well, I'll just go on for now. I can worry about that later if I really wanted to tr check it out. There's more grass up ahead. 
But like I said, you can't get through this whole thing unless you have all the matches. You can make progress in here and actually check some stuff out without having all of them, but... Really, it's not worth it unless you have all the badges. You can pass it only if you have the Earth Badge. Oh, that is the Earth Badge! Oh, no, 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 okay then, please go right ahead. Here we go. Victory Road Gate in the Pokemon League. So, yep. Welcome to Victory Road. The hell that awaits us is vast. Which, by the way, I think I can... Never mind. I can't. I was gonna say, I thought I could fly to Victory Road. I guess not. Like I said, make sure you are ready when you get here. You don't want to waste your time going through here only to get your ass whooped. And the wild Pokemon in here are pretty strong, but they're not the biggest concern you should have. It's what awaits inside. Basically, it's our final dungeon of the game, the Victory Road. Well, it may as well be. Ooh, a Ditto! Here's an interesting Pokemon, level 43, Jesus. Watch this crap. Well, I'm gonna shock it first. Give it a major hurt. Whoops, killed it. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see if I can find that again. Ditto is a very interesting Pokemon. One you probably won't find in a battle. I don't think, anyway. And, well, I really want to show it off, because, well... It's one of the prime Pokemon. One of the prime Pokemon examples in this game. Let me just Swift it. That should probably keep it alive. So I'll hit it with Swift. And did not kill it. Check this out! What the hell? Ditto transformed to Raichu! What the hell? Screw you! So, yep. Ditto has the ability to transform into your Pokemon you have out. And it gets 5 PP of every move that your Pokemon knows. That it copies. So, yeah. It also copies over some of the stats, too, I believe. It's basically like finding a copy of yourself at its level. So, it can be pretty crazy. You might want to catch this one. This is an interesting one. Besides, in future games... Oh, god damn you! In future games, Ditto's extremely useful. Oh, come on, man! No! Not the paralysis! Ah, oh, damn it. So yeah, Ditto's a tough opponent. Because it knows everything you know. Which is why... Oh, finding this thing stinks. Mm. Oh, by the way... You know how I say Swift never misses? I do mean it never misses. Keep in mind. While you may think you can lower accuracy of someone attacking you with Swift, you can't. Swift will always hit no matter what. In the ground, in the air, underwater for some reason, which doesn't happen in this game. Your accuracy is shit. Their evasion is really high, which are moves that can change your evasion as well. Swift will always, always, ALWAYS connect. So don't expect it to change. Also, how have I not caught you yet? What the hell, man? Come on, just get caught already. Thank you, jeez. All it takes some complaining and you're getting the ball, man. Good, I wanted you. Here's Ditto, the transform Pokemon. Capable of copying an enemy's genetic code to instantly transform itself into a duplicate of the enemy. That is its only purpose. You can't teach it anything else. Its purpose is to basically be a clone enemy. Anyway, we have another cave here. Oh yeah, I better heal up. Because that was upsetting. Here you go, Raichu. I'm not going to use you in the cave that much anyway. I guess I'll swap to somebody who I'll be using a good bit. Sure. Anyway, we'll have to end the episode here. We're finally made it to Victory Road. Come back next time and we'll start our journey through the game's final dungeon. Victory Road. Like I said, buckle up. Because this dungeon will be intense and very difficult. Seriously, buckle down. This could get a little overwhelming.